Welcome to this Excel quickie where I'll show you how to spell check your worksheets in Excel. Also, I'll show you how to get to all the other spelling and proofing options in Excel. Now, here we go. We have some misspelled text. Excel isn't going to show us the underline like Microsoft Word. It's a pain. So what we can do is go to the review tab and we have this lovely little feature, spell check. Just click this dude or you can see the keyboard shortcut right there, F7. And what it's going to do if you just select a single cell is it's going to spell check the entire worksheet. What you can do is you can go through all of the cells one by one, ignore them, add them to the dictionary, use the suggestions that they have to change the spelling or just auto correct. You have a few different options down here. So if we go and click ignore once, it's going to go from this cell right here. Okay, it goes to the beginning of the document now because we got to the end, so yes. Now it goes over to this cell. So it goes one by one through the worksheet. Now, yeah, it's cumbersome, but if you have a really big worksheet, this will allow you to find misspellings really quickly. So let's click auto correct and see what happens. Auto correct, spell check complete, you're good to go. So it changed it for that cell right there, but it didn't change it for this dude down here. Let's undo that. Now, the next thing I want to show you is if you select multiple cells, it's only going to spell check within those cells. So if you're trying to spell check an entire worksheet and you have a couple cells selected and you go to spell check and it says everything's okay, just know it didn't check everything. So select the cells to spell check or select a single cell to spell check the entire worksheet. Now auto correct. Now I have to go to the next one, auto correct. So even when I click auto correct, I still got to go through one by one. Now there's lots of different proofing options for Microsoft Excel. If we go to the file menu, we can get to them. Just go to options and go to the proofing tab and you've got lots of stuff down here and autocorrect options. Autocorrect options, there's a lot of stuff in here which you may or may not want to change, such as capitalizing the names of days and or correcting two initial capitals. So it's pretty helpful. But that is really all there is. So select the cells you want to spell check or to do the entire worksheet, select a single cell, hit the keyboard shortcut F7 or go to the review tab and click the little spelling button right there.